Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and excuse me, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Leo. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you in love, Leo. Okay, first card out, children. So children are center stage, taking um, a main, main, uh, main attraction here. Either you have children, children are holding the relationship together, or somebody wants children. Yeah, but somebody is still acting young, or you could have a young adult in your house too, acting out. Uh, they're concerned about themselves, maybe looking cool, being cool, driving a car. Um, they're getting older. Uh, let's see. Dark male. Okay, so it's something you don't know about your children. Um, within the dynamic here, gifts. Dating. You may have a young child, protect their children in terms of who you have them around. There might be somebody who's trying to lure them in with gifts because they're trying to date them. Or this is you, like somebody's trying to date you, but they're trying to get through to you by way of your children. If you're dating somebody who has children and you don't have children, the children are, are really playing a big factor in this connection. They could even be saying they don't like who their father or their mother is dating and that um, they don't like maybe that this person gives you gifts. There's something hidden behind all of this also. Somebody feels like somebody is childish too. They need to grow up. Somebody feels like there's something hiding behind like somebody's dating somebody you can't see this person they're in the background or they're a third party something about gifts also maybe somebody is seeing that somebody's dressing different driving something different yeah mature man so there's some older gentleman maybe somebody who's going bald this person has gifted your person something or they are or you feel like they're more than just friends or more than just acquaintance or business partners. There could be an older man. Somebody is dating. This is like same sex connection. Somebody could be dating for pay also like, you know, maybe they do something online for pay. Yeah, friendship. Somebody's saying, look, this is my friend, but this is more so friends with benefits. And, th and this person puts them off, whomever this friends with benefits, they put them off. They say, text me, don't call me, you know, because um, they have somebody else. They have a younger male. Oh, somebody's got like some young guy or younger guy that they like or they love or whatever that they have children by. But they're dating some maybe sugar daddy or sugar something. I don't know. It's something in the dark that this, they don't want this person to see. Yeah, they don't feel like they will understand. Somebody could be dating. This younger dude could be like a thug, could be straight up rude to the feminine energy, but she likes it. You know, she thinks that she could bring out his sweet side. Somebody is going to get a divorce or they're trying to divorce or go their separate ways. What else do we have here? It's a lot going on here. Yeah, past life. Maybe, you know, you and this person met in a past life and it was to work off some karma in the in this life here. What else do we have? Work. Yeah, somebody could have met this person at work or this relationship is hard work. Yeah, this is like... A past life relationship maybe it could even be like soulmate connection yeah this relationship came to you to bring you spiritual growth you need to you need to grow like within you you know it it, it was for the short term 
you guys are breaking up or you have broken up. Maybe somebody's going to break up via, you know, text message, communicating via the phone. Somebody's just cold right now because somebody has gone back to a past love. Yeah, this was a soulmate connection that was to teach you about yourself, maybe about being needy or showing up in the capacity of um, being passive, allowing stuff to happen that you knew yeah that you knew was a lie i was about to say this if it sounds like a lie it's probably a lie yeah you knew the truth you knew what was illuminated to you but you was like i like this person you knew this was not a good idea to continue with this person but maybe somebody was stuck on the physical they were stuck on you know what they could get they were stuck on uh yeah stuck on somebody's promises also yeah this is this could be failing you can know that this relationship is failing maybe something happened on valentine's day or, or it has been kind of declining since valentine's day somebody's just outright angry because um let's see somebody's outright angry because it's like they knew that they had someone else somebody that somebody wants a divorce Somebody was staying stuck. Somebody was just a liar. There is gossip about you. This person has said anything to you or you say anything to them. This person could have been sick or there's a sickness or an illness or mental illness here. Somebody wants to be honest. They need to be honest about who they've been talking to, who they've been sexting, who they actually love. Maybe they could be waiting for somebody or waiting for the divorce or somebody's waiting for them. What is the advice for Leo? What's the advice for Leo? Let it all fall in the rubble, in the tower. After the tower happens, you'll know where everything stands. You'll know where you stand. And if you want to rebuild, you guys can rebuild on a firm foundation. But right now it's too rocky. It's too much at a place of it's going to collapse anyway. Yeah. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you guys could decide to rebuild. You could have victory with this person um, because of all the time, the energy, effort that you put into this. It's like you you don't really want to let go, but you need to withdraw emotionally because it's making you depressed. And somebody does have another option that they go in between. Let's see what the, this somebody travels to you. There could be distance also between you and someone. Somebody like travels to you. Or you travel to them. Yeah. Let's see what the cards have to say for career and finance. Career, finance. The Fool card, take the leap. Like some of you are scared to go in a new direction in terms of your career. You had a two of wands. It's like you're doing something right now, doing two, diff two different things that, you know, could be. Um, monetize it says that one of these things are going to kind of um one of these things you do is going to kind of overshadow the other kind of overpower where you're going to have to make a decision to put all your time into one thing you're not going to have to divide your time between two different things you could have two jobs or you you find financial security between two different things of pentacles you need to be focused on another stream of income or nurturing this stream of income because it can be really good for you you know yeah you can find yourself in a partnership that's that works out well for you um you wash my back i wash yours type of energy um four of swords some of you could be coming back from vacation or coming off of vacation or coming out of that procrastination lazy mindset you need to come out of that um, yeah, because you have a gold mine that you're sitting on the sun card. Also, the universe is saying, look, we're lining things up for you to take action right now. We're shining bright on you, putting a spotlight and exposure on you so that you can then take necessary steps or action that you need to take to maybe end one way of existing, maybe hand, hand to mouth or, yeah, or feeling stuck. Let something collapse. Let it all fall down. Um, because you could become an expert in some type of field or whatever it is you do. And so you could get a lot of recognition. 
you know, if you just put yourself out there, the Queen of Wands. But you keep trying to play both sides. Seven of Wands, you have to persevere and see it through, even in the troubled times, even in the times where I feel like it's not working out. You have to keep going. You have to be proactive. You have to get in front of something also. Yeah, you have to put yourself out there to start card. This is it talks about you being the main attraction, you being the center, the brand of everything revolves around you. You need to be the center. You need to be centered and aligned. You need to get on the right path. You need to learn how to release. You know, need to learn how to um, maybe do something online or internet or large groups of people or something that you post or you put out there to the people they wait for you okay you need to um, do that systematically you need to show up on a system you need to do it in day in day out yep i knew it eight of wands because some you could this talks about the law of attraction you keep putting something out there it's going to come to you um if you keep stating your intentions for what you want to happen in your business and your career, it's going to eventually manifest. Something is coming to a conclusion also, and life is going to speed up. So, like I said, one of these things that you do for money is going to end, it's going to conclude, and then you're going to have to put all your at your eggs in one basket here. And But it looks like it's going to be good. Right now, divided efforts are getting you a divided re reward. So you're not getting, you know, you, you're getting some money, but you're not getting as much money as you could be getting. Um, you're not posting as much. You need to post something or you need to put something out there. You need to share. This talks about sharing. This is what I have for you, Leo. I hope that it resonates. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Um, there's so many discount codes at the community tab on YouTube. So go get your a discount code on the community tab. Go over to the website and book your reading there and catch me live uh, every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you.